Hello guys, my name is Kasfini Ojuku and I'm a blockchain developer. So um, in our previous video, um, I explained how to configure your wallet uh, to work with the MXC ZK EVM blockchain. So in this video, I will be uh, guiding you on how to receive tokens that are some um, test tokens that will help you interact with the um, MXCZK EVM uh, blockchain. So if you're a smart contract developer, you already know that you need um, test tokens. For instance, if you're if you're working on Ethereum blockchain, maybe Goeli testnet, you need a Goeli ETH for you to uh, deploy a smart contract or interact with contracts on Goeli ETH. Uh, same is also applicable on MXCZK EVM. So if you want to deploy smart contracts on MXCZK EVM, you need the MXC token, which is the the um, the native token of the MXCZK EVM. It's what's being used to pay for a uh, transaction fee, also known as a uh, gas fee, and all of that. So in this video, I'll be guiding you on how to receive um, Goeli test ETH and the MXC token. And I'll also show you how to bridge uh, from uh, the Arbitrum or Goeli testnet to the MXC 1C testnet. So without any further ado, let's dive in. All right. So uh, first thing, this guide will help you receive testnet tokens for 1C testnet and Arbitrum from the faucet. Uh, MXC token is the gas token for MXC 1C testnet. The MXC token is used for paying L2 gas fee. Arbitrum Goeli ETH is used for gas slash transaction fee on Arbitrum Goeli testnet. The write token and pack token are both test tokens that are used for testing the bridge and swap. Also, so let's move prerequisites. You should already have an Ethereum wallet address to accept testnet tokens. Metamax wallet is preferred. All right, step one. So step one says navigate to bridge and connect your wallet. So make sure your wallet is on Arbitrum Goeli uh, network. So first things first, let's check. Uh, let's see. I'm opening my wallet now. So currently my wallet is on Arbitrum Goeli. So if yours is not on Arbitrum Goeli, make sure you select Arbitrum Goeli uh, network. So once you've done that, uh, it says you should navigate to the MXC1C bridge. So I'm doing that. So I've opened the MXC1C bridge. And here we are. So, and the third step is click the uh, wallet connect, but the connect wallet button to connect your wallet. So this is the connect wallet button. I'm going to click it now. So I'll click it. I'll select Metamax here. And my wallet is connected. So. I've connected my wallet before. That's why it just uh, connected automatically. But for yours, Metamax is going to pop up and you're going to connect your wallet. So yeah, that's it. So moving up to the second step. The second step says, claim and receive Goeli ETH on Arbitrum Goeli. So make sure you're on Arbitrum uh, Goeli network. So I'm on Arbitrum Goeli. This is it here. I'm still there. So I'm on Arbitrum Goeli Network. Then it says click on the faucet tab. So I'm going to click on the faucet tab here. So once you do that, check the I'm not a robot and click claim 0.02 ETH. So I'm going to check this I'm not a robot uh, stuff. This uh, recapture. Once I check it, this button will come alive and I'll click on it. So I've already claimed this 0.02 ETA uh, and it's not up to uh, 24 hours I claimed it. So I, it, I won't be able to claim again. But let me do for your case, you just click on claim. And once you do that, you're going to receive the ETH. But you see mine is saying this address has already received because I've claimed. So I can't claim again. So once you claim it, you get 0 0.02 uh, Goeli ETA in your wallet. So if you look at it, you see it here 0.02 Argo in this wallet. So yeah, this is uh, for step two. Then let's move on to step three. So step three says mint and receive MXC 
ride or pack test token on Arbitrum Goeli. So first step says select any token on the MXC, select any of the tokens, MXC ride or pack from the drop down. So we are going to head back to the bridge. So on the bridge, says so to select any of these token. So I'm going to select MXC here. And once you select MXC, so it says click on the faucet button below the drop down. The faucet button is only visible if you haven't minted the selected token. So I've not minted the selected token. I have 0, 0.0, so I can see the faucet button here. So the next thing say uh, on click of the faucet button, a model will pop up. Click mint, click the mint button. So I'll click the faucet button. This model comes up and I'll click on mint. So let's wait for this to come up. And this is up. I'm going to confirm this transaction. So I clicked on that means button twice. So I'm going to cancel this one. So transaction completed. So look here now. You see I have, I now have 10,000 MXC token, and as you can see, the faucet is no longer the faucet uh, button is no longer there. So let's try it again. I'm going to click it again and select right this time around. So you see, I don't have any right, and the faucet button comes up again. I'll click on it again and I'll click mint. So let's wait for MetaMax to come up. So I'm going to confirm this transaction and wait for it. So transaction signed, transaction completed. Now I have 50, right? And the faucet button is no longer there. So let's continue. So uh, once minted, the faucet button will disappear. You can select another token and repeat the process. We have already done that. Okay, let's just do one more. Let's select a uh, pack and the faucet appears. We click on this guy. So this scene is sufficient. Okay, no, yeah, it's working. So uh, now I'm going to do the ball. I don't want to finish the the Goeli testnet uh, ETH I have, so I won't be meeting this. Let's just leave it at uh, the, the one we have minted. So let's see how many Goeli uh, test ETH I still have. Let's see. Okay, now I have 0 0.00198. So I can still meet one. I can still meet one. So let's just click on this and I'll click mint. Wait for this guy to come up. So I didn't want to finish my test ETA because I won't be able to get another one. So we will be able to complete this uh, tutorial. So I'll confirm this and wait. All right, I've gotten 50 pack now. So let's move. So at this point, we have completed step three. So let's move on to step four. Step four says bridge token from Arbitrum Gwelly to 1CMXC. So after meeting on Arbitrum Network, select one of the minted token to bridge. So what I'm going to do now, I want to bridge, um, I want to bridge uh, this right token. So I want to bridge right. So I'm going to, I have 50 right, so I'm bridging 30. So once I do that, so it says here, impute the amount of token to bridge, approve the token and bridge. So I've imputed the amount, I imputed 30, I want to approve now. So let's wait for it. Metama is gonna come up. So I'm going to click on use default, so which is 30, and I'm going to click next, and I'll approve. Let's wait for it. Transaction sent, transaction completed. So now once I approve, I can now bridge, so let's bridge. Wait for Metamax. 
So I'll confirm this guy. Uh, wait for the transaction. Completed. Oh, this this chain is super fast, super super fast. So I've done the bridge. So, but I, I will need to claim this token on MXC One C before it will reflect. So now remember in the previous video we added uh, those these tokens. We added the pack token, the ride, and all of that. So let's go back to our asset and see. So you see we have twenty ride, fifty pack, and. Uh, 10,000 MXC. So we're supposed to have 50, 50 right here, but remember we just breached 30. So 50 minus 30 is 20. That's why we have 20 here. All right. So let's continue with the tutorial. So approve and bridge. Now we have completed step four. Let's go to step five. Step five says claim and receive MXC test token on MXC 1C. So after bridging, you will need to claim the tokens you breached on mxc one cl 2 and you need MXC token to pay for gas fee. So at the top right of the page, beside your wallet, click on the drop down and select mxc one c uh, chain. So now uh, we need to click here to change to MXC. Remember that you use MXC token to pay for gas fee. And in order to claim this token we have breached, we have to claim it on MXC chain, but we don't have MXC token to claim it. So we need to get MXC token. So switch to MXC here and click on this guy. So once you do this, wait for it. So switch network. So I've now switched network to MXC. Let's check this guy again. This guy said, okay, switch network. So click on the faucet tab. So I'm going to click on the faucet tab here. You now say claim token, claim MXC token on MXC 1CL2. So we are currently on MXC 1CL2. So I'll claim this 100 MXC token. Let's wait for it. All right. So I've claimed 100 MXC. So just to be sure, let's check here. Okay, you see now I have 100 MXC tokens here on the MXC uh, 1C testnet. So after getting this token, which means I can now pay for gas or transaction fee on MXC blockchain. All right, so what's the next thing to do? So this is step five. We are done with step five. Now step three say claim the bridged tokens on MXC uh, 1C L2. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, let's go back. So you say now that you have you have MXC token on MXC one CL two, you can pay transaction fee and claim the bridge token. So click on the transaction tab. So I'm going back here. I'll click on the transaction tab. You see, this is the uh, thirty right that was bridged. So come back here and say you will see a list of transactions based on the number of bridge transactions you did. So in our case, we made only one bridge transaction. So We'll just see one. Click on the claim button of any of the token you want to claim. So this is the guide there. So just come here and click on claim and wait for MetaMax to come up. I'm sure MetaMax is supposed to come up. So why is it taking time? Okay, I think it will just claim automatically. Maybe it doesn't need MetaMax to come up. I guess. Okay, yeah, MetaMask is coming up. For us to sign the transaction. All right, so click on confirm and wait. Transaction signed. Transaction computer. This is super fast. So let's check our address again. This uh, MXC one c chain is super fast. So let's check our address to see if we receive the token. So if you go to assets, uh, it's loading tokens. Wait for it. Now you see we have thirty right here. So we have successfully breached from Arbitrum to uh, MXC one c chain. 
So let's just try out one more time. So let's go back to Arbitrum and bridge another token. So this is just for like one, one last test to see how this works. So switch network. Uh, go to the bridge. So now I want to make use of uh, the pack token. So I've selected pack. We have 50 packs. So now I want to bridge 40 pack tokens. So first I'll approve it. Uh, wait for Metamax to come up. Okay. Metamax. So I'm going to use default, which is 40. Next, and I'm going to approve this transaction. So what I'm doing, I'm approving this the smart contract to spend this token on my behalf as a blockchain developer. You should know what that means. So now I'm bridging, bridging to the NXC 1C network. So Metamax will pop up again to sign the transaction. So click on confirm and wait for it. Okay, so this is done. Transaction is complete. So in order to claim the token, we already have the MXC uh, testnet on our MXC 1C chain. So just switch back to this uh, uh, chain over here. Switch network. And now go to transactions and click on the claim. Wait for it. Metamask should come up. So we are waiting for Metamask to pop up now. Okay. The meta dial is here. Okay, okay. All right, let's confirm this transaction and wait for it. Transaction sent, this is super fast. And let's go, transaction completed. So bridge message process successfully, and this is done. So let's confirm this on our Metamax to see if we received 40 pack tokens. Uh, go back to assets, scroll down, loading tokens, and here we go. We have 40 pack tokens, and this is how to receive tokens on the MXC1C testnet. Let's see if there's any other thing. Okay, so it says you have successfully received token on both Arbitrum Guerli, MXC1C L2, and have also bridged tokens from Arbitrum to. Uh, MXC 1C L2. So this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please do like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more of content like this. So in the next video, we'll be focused on how to bridge. So you see in this uh, video, we bridged from Goeli, from Arbitrum Goeli to MXC 1C. In the next video, we are going to bridge from Arbitrum Goeli to MXC 1C and bridge back from MXC 1C to Arbitrum Goyle. So it's going to be a two-way bridging. So that we'll see how that works in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.